I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. process of making my cream corn and I wanted to show you how I and we'll do one ear from beginning to end to show you how I process the corn. Um, I, I'm gonna take down at the bottom and take a sharp knife and cut through the whole ear of corn. And then it should peel straight off. Okay, we got most of the outer layers off. I'm just going to take and fill the rest. Okay, I'm going to get all the strings off that I can get off. Okay. All right. Now the next step in this that I do, typically I would be doing every single ear of corn and putting it down and then at the very end and start processing. But for, for purposes of letting y'all see what I'm doing, um, I'm going to go ahead and do one completely. All right, I'm gonna go to the top here and I'm just gonna go about halfway down the kernel and use a really sharp knife and take it off all the way around the whole corn. I'm going to do this and after I'm done with the whole ear of corn I go back and I take the bottom half of the kernel off. It makes the kernel smaller in your cream corn so it makes it more um, like, a, like it's creamed. So you get the, the texture. And I make a mess when I do this. Kernels fly everywhere. done with the first pass. All right, now I'm just going to go back in and go a little deeper and get the lower half of that kernel. got all the corn kernels off. Now I take me a spoon and I just pull along and pull all the juices out of the, what's left on the cob. you can see how much juice I got out of it. All right, that's it for now. And then we'll be back to show you how we make the cream Beyond corn. back with the corn once again. 
we're going to put it together now to uh, start frying it up. So I have sugar, flour, salt and pepper, and heavy cream. So I'm just going to pour the heavy cream in. The sugar and the flour. And I'm going to sprinkle some salt in and some pepper. And then I'm going to stir this up and then we're going to go to the stove um, and we're going to have two tablespoons of baking grease in the frying pan heating up before we put this in there. But I'm going to stir this all together. This cream corn is a favorite at my house. I make it all the time. Especially when uh, fresh corn is in. Alright, it's mixed up. We're headed to the stove. Now. I have melted um, bacon grease in here, so now we're going to add our corn. Oh, that looks so good. Bacon grease makes everything better. Mm -hmm. Yum. All right, now I'm going to just stir it, stir it around so I can incorporate that bacon grease into the corn. And then we'll turn it on low. Once it starts to boil, we'll turn it down to low and let it um, cook on low for 30 minutes. All right, guys, we'll be back. And I'm Debbie. And we're, we're Two Sisters Sister Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.